Hello and welcome back from the break. I'm Eli Reynolds and this is Wildcat TV on Comcast 15 and ATTU Verse 99. Her top stories of today are covering a new school attendance policy and some interactive opportunities on our broadcast. For our first story, we go to Kaylee Chapelo. Hi, my name is Kaylee Chapelo reporting for Wildcat TV. Having great attendance has always been something our school prides itself on. And in order to keep this up, there's going to be a major focus on attendance this semester. I caught up with Mr. Alderman to hear about all the buzz that's going around with the new attendance policy. We haven't put any new policies in place, but it is a policy that we've had in our handbook, and it's a good time for everybody to revisit uh, what, that, what that policy states in the handbook. Um, handbook states that if a student misses more than 12 days in any class, um, they can't receive credit or can only receive credit for additional work missed um, only if they have a doctor's excuse or some kind of emergency. Next, I asked Mr. Alderman if there were any changes in TARDIS and also why it was important to be at school. No change with TARDIS. Um, of course, we want everybody to class on time. It's important for people to be at school. You know, I think one of the, the, the main life skills and one of the most important life skills that people have is being where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. Listen up, seniors. Attendance is also very important for prom. Mr. Alderman told me about the prom policy this year for attendance. Prom policy is the same as last year. Uh, you have to be at school 90% um, of the time in order to be eligible to go to prom. That if you are at school over 95% of the time, your attendance is over 95%, then you get a discount on your prom ticket. So remember, be at school on time to ensure that you're successful. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Kaylee Chapelow. This new policy is being taken very seriously. Thank you for informing us. Twitter is a media hotspot that is now being taken advantage of here on Wildcat TV. For information on the interactive opportunities, we go to Jared Hinton. Most students here at the high school probably have one of these. As technology has advanced in this era, so has people's ability to communicate with each other. Social media has had a big part in that. Nowadays, almost every successful business or organization has a Twitter account. And Wildcat TV decided not to be left out of the fun. We are now on Twitter. Follow us at Wildcat TV News to get links to our latest episodes and some interactive content for you, the students, to participate in. In every episode, we will have a hashtag of the week, which will appear throughout the broadcast in yellow. We will also have hashtags personal to the stories in the episode, like this one right here. But if you retweet the tweet with our latest episode's link in it, your name will be put into a drawing for a chance to win a prize that week. Also, we would like to hear from you, the students, about what you would like to see on Wildcat TV. Tweet us with an idea for a story, and you may see it on one of our broadcasts. You may even get to come down to Wildcat Studios to introduce the story for us. We're looking forward to hearing what you have to say, and make sure when you tweet about us, use the hashtag of the week. This week's hashtag is hashtag back from break, and be sure to tag at Wildcat TV News in your tweets. Going to send it back to Eli at the desk, get on your phones, and get to tweeting. Thanks, Jared. That sounds like it will be a great addition to our broadcast. When we come back, we will look into the difference you might have seen inside teachers' classrooms and inform you of our next curriculum night. But first, a quick word from our sponsors. We'll be right back. All new leather seats in every auditorium. All new digital projectors. We have the newest in 3D capabilities. Now that's what I'm talking about. All new digital surround sound like you've never heard before. All new popcorn machine with real butter. We have the lowest concession prices in the whole area. And all new affordable ticket prices. The lobby is even new. Yeah, these are new too. Welcome back from the break. In teachers' classrooms, you may have noticed a small difference, new phones. However, this is not just to update the system, but to improve school safety. We go to Will Hampshire. We were not the only ones that got gifts over Christmas break. Our teachers got some new phones to improve our school safety. I caught up with the assistant principal, Mr. Jerome, to give us some insight on these new phones. Well, uh, to kind of give you a little bit of background here, the la latest bond issue was passed in order to improve safety and communication uh, across the district. Uh, the voters passed that bond issue and were able to 
uh, install new telephones in each classroom, each, each office uh, received brand new phones as well. But the purpose and the goal of that is to improve safety and communication. So if there's an emergency in a classroom, um, teachers can quickly notify us uh, to, for assistance. Um, also, the communication with parents, it's easier for, um, for teachers to just be able to pick up the phone in their classroom, contact parents, and improve communication that way. These phones will certainly help with communication throughout the school. We also got a phone in the radio studio now, so you can call in, request, so you can play your favorite songs on BSSD Radio. Signing off for Wildcat TV, I'm Will Hampshire. Back to you, Eli. Every semester, we have a curriculum night to show just what this school has to offer. For more details, we go to Raven Lawrence. Hey, cats! It's Raven Lawrence here. There is an upcoming event that is important to all freshmen through juniors. Mark your calendars for January 29th. Blue Springs High School will be holding curriculum night, a night where students and parents can come out to learn about different future career options, the different courses that the high school has to offer, and much more. There will be more information on this event in future Wildcat TV episodes. But we want to make sure you knew about this well in advance. Again, it's January 29th. This is Raven Lawrence supporting for Wildcat TV. Thank you for the information. We hope many decide to attend. Now for a few quick announcements. Seniors, check out our school website often for available scholarship applications and opportunities. Go to www.bssd.net, click on Schools, High Schools, and Blue Springs. Girls Track starts preseason workouts this Thursday. Workouts will be every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday from 2.45 to 4 o'clock. See Coach Reader if you have any questions. Some colleges will be visiting soon. Tomorrow, January 14th at 1 p.m., Washburn University will be here. Truman State will be attending Thursday, February 6th at 9.30. Military visits will also be soon. Marines are coming Tuesday, January 21st during lunch and Tuesday, February 11th. There will be an informational meeting during January 15th and 16th during Wildcat Hour over CTC, which is held at Fort Osage. You can learn more about building computers, using computers for design, nursing, construction, car repair, car body work, culinary arts, owning your own business, fire science, or agriculture productions. Blue Springs High School is hosting a financial aid night available to all current 11th and 12th grade students and parents. Now for some recognition of our programs at the school. Recently, the forensics team was able to have a unique opportunity and compete in a national circuit tournament in Iowa. We got second in IEs in humorous interpretation, Blake Knapp took third in dramatic interpretation, Lyric Davis took second in duo interpretation, Lyric Davis and Sam Moore received first, and Amaris Groves and myself received third in duo interpretation, poetry reading, Lyric Davis got fourth, and in prose reading, Bailey Garricky received second. Also, last Wednesday at the Wrestling Meet versus South, we won 39 to 31. We're going to take another commercial break, but when we come back, we'll be taking a look at another charitable event that many Wildcats are participating in, and we have an update on boys basketball. We'll be right back. Hey, Wildcats, Matt Mitchell here at Culver's. How do I look? It's spirit wear time, guys. This fall, any Friday night, between 5 o'clock and close, just come to Culver's and receive 10% off your order when you wear your spirit gear. It could be a shirt, it could be a hat, it could, whatever spirit wear you have, just come to Culver's, show them your spirit wear. You get 10% off whatever you want to order. Come before the game, come after the game. It's all delicious. You can come in and get your favorite items and receive 10% off your entire order. Like no place on earth, Lunar Bowl offers pure, out-of-this-world fun and is completely smoke-free. From cosmic bowling to the newest and flashiest arcade in town, Lunar Bowl is loaded with great times. It also has the coolest lounge in the KC area, the Blue Moon, where on Friday nights after a Wildcat home football game, you and the family can watch a replay of the game on TV and enjoy some late-night food from their new menu. Sign up today for special offers and deals at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl, completely family-friendly fun, located on Highway 7 North in Blue Springs. The Polar Bear Plunge is a well-known event around these halls. For more information on this year's event, we go to reporter Micah Nickway. 
Hi Wildcats, this is Mike and Nick Ray. I'm going to tell you guys all about Polar Plunge. This unbearable event is a unique opportunity to show your bravery as you support local Special Olympic athletes by walking, running, or crawling into the frigid winter waters. All proceeds benefit Special Olympic year-round sports programs for children and adults with intellectual disabilities. I got to catch up with Taylor Donahoe to give us more information on this event. Polar Bear Plunge is basically just a event that Special Olympics puts on and so you raise $50 and then on Saturday, January 25th, we're all going to jump into a freezing cold lake and it's a lot of fun. So you're just raising money to go towards Special Olympics, it's a really cool event. Um, there will be like packets to register outside of the center room which is room 314. So you can just come fill out a packet, turn it back in, we'll register you and you raise your $50 and then you can come plunge. There you have it, Wildcats. Now don't forget, if you're interested in Polar Plunge, that you can pick up a packet in the senior room in room 314. Reporting for Wildcat TV, this is Micah Nickway. Good luck to all those participating and stay warm. For more information, stop by the Senate room and talk to Taylor Donahoe. On Wildcat TV, we have not had much chance to talk about boys basketball, but that streak is coming to an end with an update from Gunnar Strickland. What's up, Wildcats? This is Gunnar Strickland here with Wildcat Sports. I'm here with Darius Vaughn, captain of the boys' basketball team. Darius, it's good to talk to you. What's up? Now, Darius, how's the basketball season been going so far? Um, it's pretty good. We're five and four right now. Any big statement wins so far? Um, Tuesday against Truman, that was a pretty good game, one by two. So it was a close one. Yeah. Did, did you hit any like big buzzer beaters? Uh, no, actually, but Justin Hall did. Justin Hall, the sophomore. Now, what? What are your guys' goals for this season so far? Five and four, when's conference, when you guys start getting into the heat of your schedule? I mean, you know, the goal is always to get to state, but, you know, it's always a work in progress. You know, it's going to take a while to, you know, kind of get things going. We got South coming up later this month, so that's going to be a big game for us. So, really got to focus on that. You know what we do here? We got to beat South. Now, Darius, you think I could beat you at a game of one-on-one -on -one basketball? I don't know about that, Gunner. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Space Jam. Space Jam. Here's your chance. Do your dance. It's at time the to Space move. Jam. All right. All right. It's time to play Darius. Who gets the ball? We get ball. Fine. Let's go. Check it out. Oh, baby! <laughs> Give me the ball! learned here today, folks, that I cannot play basketball, and Darius can. Darius, good game. Good game. One more chance. Best of luck on the rest of the season. This week on Wildcat TV, we added three new members to the Wildcat TV news team. You have not seen them in front of a camera yet, but they were as much of this broadcast as us continuing for the second semester. We interviewed each of them so you could learn a bit about them. Um, what made me join was all the great things I see. All you guys put everything together in a short, short amount of time. and. I just want to be something like a partner, something good. Well, first I learned how to be a team, and that's always a great thing when you have so many group of people to make one thing in a short amount of time. But uh, just chemistry, you know. Uh, yes, it's always been a career I've always thought about doing. You know, I always loved broadcasting, and I always looked at the news and everything. It looks all very interesting to me. But so this is a great start. You know, to be on camera, I always think you have to be behind the scenes as well, so I like a, I like a mix of things. Uh, my favorite color is, well, I'm actually partially colorblind, but uh, I would say uh, brown.
I wanted to join Wildcat TV because I like the whole journalism and reporting process and all the TV stuff. Video production, we learned a lot about the editing and I liked, I liked a lot of the editing stuff and we learned how to really get good stories. I don't know, I'd probably rather be on camera, but that doesn't mean that being behind the scenes wouldn't be good too. The reason I wanted to join Wildcat TV was because I wanted to work on editing video and uh, animating for the show. I might pursue this as a career. Um, it's a possibility, but I don't think I'll be a news reporter or anything like that. In video production one, I focus mostly on learning how to edit video and animate um, little animations. My goal is to hopefully make it look a little bit more professional and help it um, become better. Thanks guys, I'm looking forward to work with each of you. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching and remember as always, it's a great day to be a wildcat.